Where would you like to do um, that? primulinum is from uh, Indonesia. It's endemic to the island of Sumatra. Pathiopedalum is a genus of orchids where there's a lot of critically endangered and endangered species within. And they've often been uh, illegally traded and collected in the wild. So this one is quite important for us to have in our collection with regards to keeping wild species going. It's also the parent of some of the commercial hybrids that are available these days. So very important for us to have. If you've got a more desirable plant that's commercially available, people would naturally tend to go and buy those ones rather than try and get the wild species, which are maybe a bit more difficult to grow, maybe the flowers are a bit smaller, but they don't flower as long. So creating man-made plants is actually one way to lessen the stress on wild species. Way back in the 1800s, around the time that Darwin was writing his theories about the evolution of plants, and what Wallace noticed was certain plants, notably Myrtaceae, like eucalyptus, didn't cross over this line. Certain animals as well, like marsupials, didn't cross over the line. Um, and opposite, like you've got tigers on the Asian side, but not on the Australasian side. So we've tried to bring all of this together this year. We've created displays focused on volcanoes. Uh, Indonesia has 100 active volcanoes, which can be a destructive force, but also a force for for renewal and rebirth. After a volcano erupts, it brings lots of minerals into the soil, so it really booms plant growth. <laughs> Um, we've also tried to recreate some of the more paradise islands, so you've got nice island settings with beautiful plants coming through. We've tried to showcase some of the really fascinating biodiversity that is in Indonesia, so notably tigers, orangutans, uh, couscous, all of these other animals that you find throughout the islands. Uh, good morning. Yeah. Thank you. 
And the rhinoceros, we also brought in a rhinoceros because we're trying to showcase some of the really rare threatened species that occur in Indonesia, not just plants, but also animals. We're uh, working areas where people haven't really been before. This is a big black hole on the map. So first of all, what we really want to do with that mapping is to identify and characterise the types of forest. And we really don't know some of these seasonal forests, the plants there. So we're probably going to have some new species as well. We're also going to characterise the forests. Then we want to understand, under different climate models, um, how they could be affected, especially by, for example, more human activity in the region. So something Indonesia really wants to do is improve its tourism. So Indonesia, a beautiful country, and so if we have more tourism in these areas, which are not the honeypots, can the forest take it? Is it resilient? And to do that, we want to help understand the resilience of these forests under these different scenarios. So climate change, more human activity, and then we'll be able to actually help direct development, direct the tourism programme, for example. Thank you. 